Hi and welcome back to a new video. I've seen many people say that they enjoy Seven Man Sonic but struggle to improve their, either their kill times or the, just the consistency of their kills. So today I have 10 Supreme Sonic tips that will help you with just that. Some of these you may know but most will be new to, to you and are highly recommended. Cracking on then. The first point is the base should never go to any green lights. If the base goes to try and cover the 6th, unless it's right next to them where he doesn't need to move Sonic, it's almost never beneficial. Normally it will just move people out of the greens that they're already in because they're trying to do abilities at the same time, and then you end up missing more than one. The DPS should be able to cover at least 5 blights, I highly recommend bladed dive for ease. This brings me to my second point, after you've gone on the blight spawns, and you've got the timer that then builds up, make sure not really close or empty to Solak. As you can see, the meta for this is to try and resonance the big hit. However, if you're standing so close, you have a chance that your hit may get sniped on the same tick by an auto attack from Solak. However, this isn't possible if you're standing at mid or long range. Point number three. When you split off to target your individual routes, place a second set of Dominion Mines. Uh, you'll often only be able to place these after you've done some damage. Basically, it's one minute from when you previously placed them. And also try and stand north of it. This allows you to use your flanking from impact and deep impact. Standing directly west and east also works fine. Point number four ties nicely into this. You will see that obviously I'm standing directly east to flank. However, when the routes that are randomly allocated to two members of your teammates do spawn, I move back into the middle. This is a massive pet hate of mine that people don't do and then they blame others when they get killed to their roots. Everybody's going to run their roots into the wall. If you're standing on the wall, there's nothing they can do about it. You can see perfectly in this clip that a route runs right across where I was standing, but because I move correctly, it's all fine. On to my fifth point then. So detonating on legs is just so much value. Obviously, you hit both legs with your detonate and if the whole team does it, it's extremely worthwhile. It's definitely accentuated by the fact that you have Sun up on the second rotation, so it's even better. But with the new Grimoire as well, allowing you to hit 15k Dettos and being able to do an auto attack and a Dragon Breath or a Chain at the same time as you release. If your team does it correctly, you should be able to do the full 240k damage with just these three actions. Number six. This one's quite niche, but being able to use Surge off global cooldown on the call when it finishes actually enables you to maintain your target and keep building with defensives. This is useful because you often finish with slightly lower Dren and then you have five to six seconds before the eruptions actually spawn. Okay, so the last four, point seven, eight, nine, and 10 are all around phase three positioning and ability rotation. So point number seven is that the DPS should sun between the two north torches. This basically just mitigates the number of bombs that can hit you, as obviously you have no bombs that can spawn behind you. And it also allows you to consistently flank with the base standing about 10 to 12 squares south of where you guys are. You can see in the, in the clip. Point number eight also melds quite nicely into this in the fact that when you do have the yellow protective domes or the natural blessings, um, that the base takes their own one you're only ever going to need one, so the base can take his own and just allow continuous flanking for the rest of the DPS. So point number nine as well is around the optimization of this. Now there's a few ways of doing this, um, but basically when you've got the natural blessing, if you've got high HP, you don't actually need to reflect or and debilitate and all that. Just do debilitate for the first three attacks, and then if you're low HP at that point, go for a resonance and then just tank the last hit. If not, then obviously tank all four and resin the last. You can see what I do in the clip. So on to the tenth and final point then. So you'll see in the clip that our base after the na first natural blessing will move quite a long way south. And this is for the purpose of that when Solak changes phase into phase three, that he's instantly charging on the rune on the floor. Not only is this just good to do, but what it does is it means that the stun attack that you have to do after a certain period of time, uh, that you can do it instantly and that Solak doesn't make you run blights. Now, even if you don't go instantly, onto that first rune, you're probably not gonna have to run blights on that one, but for the ones following, you will. If you do this correctly, as you can see in the clip, uh, and I'll just leave it up on the screen, is we do only three um, runes on the floor, and I'll bear in mind this is a very speedy kill, um, that we don't, or nobody has to run a single blight because it's basically tech perfect after we finish the um, previous phase. It is more than likely that you'll have to run one or two, but if you can get the first two or three runes on the floor done without having to run it's a massive dps increase because when people start having to run away they're kind of safe and it is important not to mess up that blight run so people do leave a bit of margin for error and so there you have it 10 supreme tips to try and speed up your solid kills i hope this video was helpful and i'm going to leave you all with a bonus clip that i 
got when I was actually editing this video, got halfway through and then I was decided to go to Solak and I managed to uh, get my pet, which I was very pleased about. As always, questions, queries, anything I can help with, just check them in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer. Until next time, have a good one. Yeah. Holy smokes. That is what I wanted to see. Big day. Big day. Oh, look at that. Dude. Oh, yeah. Yes, lad.